Yup. <laughs> I'm wearing. Yeah, of course you are, Tweet. The two of them are incredibly good looking individually, but when you put them together, there's just something about them that just screams Abercrombie poster, right? <laughs> They could be camping in the middle of nowhere and sitting outside of a trailer, probably haven't showered in who knows how long, and Heather will snap a selfie and she'll send it to me. And I'm like, oh, cool. The province of Ontario hired you guys to do a yours to discover commercial. <laughs> like, that's really awesome. You may have bought him the card so that he didn't forget. I treasure each side just as I will treasure our life together. Love your forever, Eric. I cannot wait to cross that out. I don't know if I'm supposed to read that. Marry you today. <laughs> Love your soon to be wife. We were told it was raunchy. Yeah. <laughs> this was so much better than mine. Heather and I met through this crazy place called the internet where I was looking for some help in my business. And I put out a post saying, I'm looking for a superhero. In that, I asked her to tell me what her dream life would look like. Her exact words were, I'd be living on an acre or two of land with my boyfriend and cat Harvey, working online, exactly as how yet to be determined and I'd still be working at the dealership, and we'd have a detached garage turned into a ball and home gym. Not only did that dream come true, it's been upgraded to living in that dream home with your husband, and not one but two fur babies, Harvey and Lewis. As some of you may have heard before, I uh, kind of broke down earlier, but I'm gonna try and keep it together on the on the podium here, but uh, there's just a quote from Eric I wanted to bring up really quickly. <laughs> when you follow your goals and dreams, the right one will come into your life, probably unexpectedly, but you have to stay true to yourself first. Then someone will come along and support that truest version of yourself, and you will be able to just be that person with them. And after that quote, as I'm looking at the both of you now, that's exactly what I see. Watching you on your life journey, we observe how well you both communicate. You allow each other to be their own person. You share interests with each other. You both are great parents to your loving cats, Harvey and Lewis. You have made a beautiful home. All this is part of a marriage right there. Heather, falling in love with you is the easiest thing I've ever done. It's all the ways in which we are alike that attracted me to you, but it's the ways in which we are different that makes me want to be with you. We bring balance to each other's lives, and through marriage, we become complete. Today, Heather, I join my life to yours as your loving husband, your loyal friend, and your protective companion. Today, we become husband and wife, marking the beginning of a new adventure. You are my greatest love, and today, we begin to write the next chapter of our greatest love story. Eric, today and always, I promise to love you, laugh with you, support you, and above all else, make sure I'm not just yelling at you because I'm hungry. I promise to be faithful and loving, to keep our life exciting, and to make marriage our biggest adventure. <music> Lastly, I promise to keep up
updating these as we go because one set of vows can't cover a lifetime of growing and changing with you, of someday raising children with you, of falling more and more in love with you every day, which is what I promise to do for the rest of my life. Married life is an adventure. Like the creek you kayaked on, there will be twists and turns, but believing in each other relying on each other, forgiving and loving each other will keep you paddling in the right direction. And then it actually started leaking. I was just kidding, guys. I was just kidding. It's fake. It's fake. I'm not crying, you're crying.